everybody, good morning. Josh the RV Nerd here from Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. At least it's morning at the time of this filming. I don't know what time it is when you're watching this. <laughs> uh, coming in behind us, uh, 7,100 pounds, give or take a little bit. J Flight 28 BHS here at Haywood RV. Uh, super slide bunkhouse is the quickest way I can say this, but it's got a bunch of little features that really make it stand out like a true queen bed, a taller ceiling, uh, Goodyear Endurance Radials, the best warranty available in this class, and, and frankly, better than most fifth wheel warranties. Uh, not to mention the fact, I believe this has the best thermal package available in this class. I'm not going to tell you it's four seasons, quote unquote, or whatever the, the going phrase is for that nowadays. But the fact is the J-Flight thermal package goes further and does more than anybody else in this class. We'll cover that as we go. Now, if you're a regular viewer, uh, which if you are, welcome back to the Halet Nation. Appreciate you guys in the RV nerd herd. <laughs> um, you've seen some 2021 footage of one of these before. What I'm looking at here today, I'm going to do a little bit quicker tour as soon as I'm done yakking, of course. Uh, showing you the modern farmhouse decor because we've already got Cashmere Cottage uh, footage on file. So what I really need from you folks, after you're done uh, looking at this, take a look in the video description. I will have a link down there to look at the other copy of this where you get to see some other colors, some other options, and let me know like what do you think, which one's your preference, which way would you go if your money was on the line. I think I've definitely talked enough in a minute and a half. I'll shut up and we'll get going. <laughs> So whenever I look at a floor plan like this, I, I say to myself, you know, like everybody and their brother makes a layout like this. It's very popular. And, uh, you know, it's kind of like how there's like 47 different types of vanilla ice cream. So why would you choose this one versus one of the other many, many dozens of, uh, you know, available versions of a floor plan like this? That's kind of what I want to point out here. I want to make this more uh, a uh, abbreviated, like, greatest hits list of features. I'm going to try to point out some of the key differences that we put on this one versus some of the other things. Like, again, we're looking at the modern farmhouse decor, but we have upgraded this one with that theater seat. But you see how Jayco takes it a step above. It actually includes a pair of these little uh, wing out kind of tabletops. So if you do want to sit there like little, you know, just set your phone next to you or have a little dinner plate next to you or something like that, you can. You can put them on either side. It's a wall hugger if you want to upgrade to it. The standard would be a jackknife sofa, however. This is one of the other key things here is the U-Dinette. Many brands who build a layout like this, it is a uh, more simplified two-bench dinette, meaning the entire RV is a little bit shorter. Because if you think about it, if the dinette is not as long, then the slide over here is not as long, then the opposing wall can't be as long. So this RV is a little bit bigger, but you get a little bit more for it in, you know, pretty much every area. By the way, optional kitchen skylight that we added above there. Something that's a little less obvious just on camera here, though, is the fact that this is a taller six foot nine ceiling, which means more cabinet space, more headroom, a taller slide out opportunity. There is also a radiant barrier run through the entire slide floor. Actually, that's something Jayco does as a matter of happenstance. Whether you do or do not upgrade the uh, to the thermal package on these, you'll always find that. The 12 volt DC compressor fridge is also another really popular option we like to apply to these. But it's things like this, plywood drawers all the way down to the floor. That's one of the reasons a full J-Flight uses a floor ducted heating system, by the way. First of all, it does provide superior heating to the RV, but it gives them more space for drawers. They're nice big wide drawers, because remember, we have a longer wall on this side since we have a longer slide on the other side, and they're all plywood boxed. They're using the same basic construction materials and methods here that they actually employ all the way up through the vast majority of their own fifth wheel lineup, which I think is pretty cool. You'll also find we will tend to outfit these with the larger 15,000 BTU air conditioner. It just kind of feels like a no-brainer here. Now, something I'd really like some feedback on is in the second set of footage, uh, I mentioned how we already have a copy of this, you'll see that that one is built with no TV. TVs are actually optional on this, and I'd really like some feedback on that. Like, you know, what do you folks think? Are you camping just to get out with the family? Or uh, do you like the idea of having some rainy day entertainment options? Or would you like to save a few bucks? Do you have like a, you know, a TV in your basement that maybe you'd be able to utilize? Like, I, I, you know, I never know the right way to go there. And your feedback, you folks not only drive our channel, you also help us understand how to build stuff. Now you see over here, this like, really it's almost like a pantry on the left side, but it could be dresser space. You see that you have a hanging closet on the right hand side, kind of for the bunk folks or a coat closet by the door, but you could always add shelving in there. And then 
up here around the corner, the uh, the command center is put all the way up top because of kids like me when I was younger. I burned up my grandfather's water heater. Uh, grandfather's? Yeah, okay. So I'm swapping vowels today. Hmm, all right. My grandfather's water heater when I was a kid because I went, ooh, Grandpa, what does the red light do? And he goes, oh, don't touch that. And I said, well, I did earlier for an hour and it didn't do anything. And I toasted his heater element and his water heater. <laughs> we were boondocking at the time. <laughs> Now, another cool thing here is around the corner, this has that uh, fold-up cargo bunk, which is really popular. You got almost like a little barn door right here. And what I like about it, it's not just the cargo space that it offers, but I think on a rainy day, that almost becomes like a little kid's playtime ice cream shop. It's a play space, you know? Am I just a big kid? Is it me or like, do you see how that could be really handy for kids? All right, ice cream, ice cream. We got ice cream here, freckleberry, monkey meat. We got all the favorites. Ice cream, bring it in. And look, I may or may not allegedly have an open investigation with the Public Health and Safety Commission regarding questionable flavor practices with my ice cream shop. But I'm like, hey man, it's America. I'm catering to a niche market over here with a specific refined palate, you know? Um, and I mean, it's like, you know, a, 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 kid, a, a kid finds... Uh, like a Band-Aid in his rocky road like two times and suddenly I'm the bad guy. <laughs> Whatever. I do love me some freckleberry ice cream though. Uh, regardless, did you notice the separate curtains for the two bunks? The, uh, the, the little details, like the little handle to get you up there. The thicker bunk mattresses. Like you see that in a, an expensive brand like Rockwood, but J-Flight, Jayco, they've been doing it longer than about anybody. <laughs> and I'm too much of a stupid kid. This is called the Dangler. That is literally Jayco's name for it. But what it's doing here is it's giving us bunk ratings. And Jayco's very consistent about this. Every bunk that they build has a 300 pound rating per sleeping space minimum. Since that's a double bunk, that's a 600 pound rated bed, <laughs> which is pretty cool. I love that open air ladder wall, by the way. Um, the, it just, it makes everything look and feel nice and big and bright and open and a handy little shoe garage down there. I, I think they were missing that in years past. I think they finally grabbed that little feature. It is funny how sometimes it's just the littlest things that make some of the biggest differences. Like our air conditioning up here. Not only can you get the bigger air, but each vent can individually open, close and turn so that you have full control over your AC system. Notice how they have double runs of lights. It's these little details that separate the J-Flight folks. That's what I wanted to show you here. Because you can get this floor plan from anybody. We have layouts like this. Uh, you know, a couple ways from Wildwood, Catalina, Cherokee. And they're all fantastic. This is what I mean by how every RV is the best for different reasons. They all have those awesome qualities. I like the big pass-through door here, by the way. By the way, take a little mental note of this TV in that bracket. We're going to talk about that again outside. You might notice the sticker next to it. This has roof solar prep on it, in case you are so inclined to add a uh, solar prep package. And compared to previous years, you may notice how the cabinet work around the bed has changed a little bit. That's because these are now not only just, first of all, they're a best in class 60 by 80 true queen that almost nobody else in this class offers consistently. All full J flights have it, but they shrunk the side cabinets back a little bit. So if you want to get a wider king mattress in there, you can. So these, uh, I, I need your feedback on this. Not only is this uh, already kind of the best at what it does with a true queen, but you can also outfit this with a 70 by 80 factory king. What do you folks think about that? Window over there opens for airflow. And notice how every window is fully framed out. <clears throat> it gives these shades something over here, something to bite into. I've noticed ever since Jayco does that, it's funny. We don't seem to have shade problems anymore. Funny how that works. Now, I know some folks are not hot to trot about the uh, door right here in the bedroom. Remember, that does have a deadbolt. So if you want to lock that down, you can. And uh, it, it helps with slide closed access because when the super slide is closed, uh, you're not going to get to the bedroom from the rear door. And if you are curious about that, please check our other video because we have recorded a copy of this RV fully closed. Uh, so that if you, you know, you want to see what it looks like in travel access mode, you can do that. A locking door, just the dumbest little things, a little, uh, you know, towel bar. Ha have you noticed how very little of the stuff I've shared with you, very little of it seems to be like, oh, wow, well, that's not a major deal, but there's a hundred little drops in a bucket. And that's really what I think a J flight is drops in a bucket because it doesn't take many drops to start filling that bucket. You ever leave a bucket outside on a rainy day? 
One or two raindrops, not a big deal. But folks, they add up, don't they? You know? Porcelain foot flush stool here. And not only is this uh, shower taller, it is much, much bigger. You could <laughs> wash a Labrador in this thing. If you need to, for some reason, if, there, if there's some kind of micro chasm of, of society out there that does like weird shower yoga or something like that, I think you could you could almost pull that off in here. And if there's not a weird microchasm of, of our society that's doing shower yoga, I, I bet pretty soon there will be. Uh, that'll be the next TikTok challenge, am I right? Um, uh, all right, mistakes were made. Uh, help, help. <laughs> And I'll tell you what, man, these things have gotten a lot better look in the last couple of years. Uh, they, they were a little bit plain Jane on the outside for a while. I think that looks good. What do you guys think? That silver skin generation, I think it, it sparks some new life into this thing. Now, take a look at those propane tanks. There's a lot of companies that'll give you a 30 pound cover. Jayco actually does 30 pound tanks on their J flights. That's a less common thing out there. That's also one of the differences between a J flight that we're looking at and an SLX, if you will. Now, these have, uh, it double pretty much the warranty of virtually anybody else out there building a camper like this. So the question becomes, uh, why, how? And a lot of it is just heavier grade materials and, and just better materials overall. Uh, such as, like you've got a 5 8 tongue groove plywood floor deck, but a lot of campers have that. Frankly, all stick and tin brands that we carry here at Haywood RV have that. But above that slide out, uh, they have this extra thick, uh, like eight inch micro laminated header beam. Now this is super boring stuff to talk about, but uh, you want stuff to hold together long term, right? You know, you're you're, you're making a, a big purchase, you want it to last. Well, having stuff like heavier, thicker construction above that slide out to make sure that that whole area stays square over time, it's kind of a big deal, you know? So it might be boring, but it's a big deal thing to talk about, especially if you uh, plan on doing this for more than just a couple years. If you're really planning on keeping something longer term, which chances are, if you're looking at a Jake OER, that's stuff to think about. Uh, they've got things like plywood roof decking in their Magnum Truss roof. You know, they have heavier construction, things that are going to last longer. Uh, little black flush and outside shower. Nice little touches there. The Goodyear Endurance radials down there. Um, I don't believe there's anyone else in this class doing that. 87 mile an hour rated. Just short of going back in time. I can't, I can't hear that song without, you guys ever see that old Saturday Night Live, Michael J. Fox, Kevin Nealon bit where they're, uh, they're in an elevator and Kevin Nealon keeps going back in time. Anyway, sorry. Wow, I got way off topic this morning. <laughs> we have J Smart safety lighting. This is also not just backup camera ready. It is also side view camera ready. So if you're looking for that extra, here's the cool thing about side view cameras and backup cameras. They, uh, the big monitor that they come with, you can use them for more than just traveling safety. If you hear a funny noise at night, you could activate that side view camera and get to see right down the side of the RV where I'm looking right now. So if you're looking for that extra kind of security, or if you're inside cooking and you hear one of the kids, blah, and you're like, oh man, do I have to get involved? Do I have to parent this thing? Or do I got to let them just kind of duke it out and solve their own issues here? Got to let them learn some conflict resolution, right? Although me and my older brother, we solved conflict with more conflict. <laughs> <laughs> you got the stable steps over here. Uh, also, you've got those, uh, I already, no, I mentioned the Goodyear radials, didn't I? Now, out here, the TV hookup, uh, the bracket, the TV bracket that we saw inside, that is what it actually mounts to, little key block system. So if you want to have a TV that can float indoors or outdoors, it's all set for it. This also has a really handy key-like system, does not get a lot of credit. So basically, uh, one key is all it takes to get you in all the baggage doors, the entry door, all those areas. So you don't have to walk around like I do with one of these stupid things in front of your face all the time. So thank you again for tuning in, folks. Please do me a favor again. Check the link in the video description where I have a link to the other copy of this that we have in the alternate, uh, al al alternative. Yeah. Yep. I always do that. I do. I do fine. Then I get to the end and I'm like, the words are hard. <laughs> Uh, well, it occurs to me this is a moment like when I say something stupid to my wife and saying more words is not going to fix it. <laughs> and as I approach age 40, I've learned uh, it's better to just not try. <laughs> so I'm just going to let it sit here and marinate. 
that I'm an idiot who puts stupid stuff on camera. And man, I appreciate you folks for tuning in and hanging out with me. Because this is truly, like, I'm so blessed to have one of the most fun jobs I can even imagine out there. So check out the other copy of the footage. Let me know what you like. If you appreciate the information, hit that subscribe button and follow along. And remember, we're family owned and operated, and we'd love the chance to work with you when you're ready. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halo Camping, everyone.